Howdy folks, welcome to Brain Rotters. Hayden Christensen has just been casted as Anakin Skywalker or Darth Vader in the new Ahsoka Disney Plus series, which I'll be talking about, but mostly I need Star Wars fans to know that this does not mean we will get round two between Ahsoka and Vader, and it's the Kenobi show's fault. Stay with me on this one. See, with the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, we already know that Darth Vader and Obi-Wan will be having their rematch in the Kenobi show. In fact, it's one of the main points that the Kenobi show is as prominent of a discussion between any Star Wars fan out there. So what does that mean for the Ahsoka show in terms of now Hayden Christensen joining the cast? Well, it means that since Vader will be one of the big bads of Kenobi, the Ahsoka show might be at risk of overshadowing Admiral Thrawn as the big bad of that show if they include Hayden Christensen as Darth Vader. Think about it. Marvel wanted to put Doctor Strange into the WandaVision series, but because they knew that Doctor Strange's appearance would overshadow Wanda in the show, they didn't put him in to avoid the fact that all anyone would talk about after the show is done is Doctor Strange and not Wanda like intended. The same can be said about the Ahsoka show. Vader could overshadow Thrawn as the villain for the season or could even overshadow Ahsoka herself. Vader will be the talk of the town, not Ahsoka. So that's why instead I think Hayden Christensen will instead appear in a flashback for the Ahsoka show, a brief one too. A flashback that just details Ahsoka's history within the Clone Wars because again we have new kids now from when the Clone Wars show came out not every new Star Wars kid will know a lot about Ahsoka because the likelihood of the kids watching the entire Clone Wars series up until now is really nil so the best way to do a show about her is to develop her character by showing those flashbacks to her training to her history in the Jedi Order which could prompt the need for a younger actress as well to portray Ahsoka and that's where I think you can incorporate Ashley Eckstein who voiced Ahsoka in the animated works into the show to dub her voice over the actress who plays young Ahsoka but in any case I could see the show recreating in live action some Anakin and Ahsoka scenes that they had done in the Clone Wars show or even have Ahsoka explain her history to a character in the show through her history with the Jedi Order with Anakin Skywalker like she did in Rebels with Ezra. Hey you made this far you might as well subscribe if you're new as well as hitting that bell for notifications so you don't miss another video just like this one. Speaking of characters in the show Sabine Wren is actually rumored to be in it and considering that the Ahsoka show takes place five years after Return of the Jedi just like the Mandalorian that means it would be a perfect time to open the show with Ahsoka and Sabine on their quest to find Ezra like they did after Return of the Jedi and then fast forward those five years to Ahsoka going out to collect Sabine and Ezra and hopefully Hera too to go on a mission in finding Admiral Thrawn together. Now I know that Ezra and the Rebels finale took off with Admiral Thrawn. That means there's one way I can see this series potentially going. So it goes like this. Ahsoka and Sabine were unsuccessful in finding Ezra. As a result, Sabine gave up. So Ahsoka, five years later, gets a lead from that lady she fought in The Mandalorian Season 2, and she's off to find Sabine to go find Thrawn, and along the way, pick up a few familiar faces like Hera, like Zeb, and Ahsoka reveals to the crew her history with Anakin, but this time her full story. Remember, even with Ezra and Kate and two, after the pair faced Vader, Ahsoka denied even knowing who Vader was, so the truth can come out now in this series, so to speak. So with the casting of Hayden Christensen in the series, it means the series is contracting and casting actors now, so expect more announcements about who will be playing Ezra, Sabine, and more in the show, and let me know your thoughts in the comments section as to who you would like to see play these iconic characters from Star Wars. Thank you all so much for watching, I appreciate it. Listen, leave your thoughts in the comments section below. I look forward to looking at them and answering a few of them. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now.